The three major U.S. stock indexes seesawed throughout the session Wednesday before closing in negative territory. This after minutes from the Federal Reserve's March policy meeting showed some members had concerns about the regional bank crisis and a report that indicated inflation was cooling. The Dow closed down one-tenth of one percent, the S&P 500 fell four-tenths, and the Nasdaq fell nearly nine-tenths. Some members of the Fed considered not raising interest rates, according to the minutes from March. While consumer prices grew less than expected, the so-called core rate, which excludes more volatile food and energy prices, remains higher. Here's Pence Financial Management Chief Investment Officer Dryden Pence. Some of the members thought, hey, you know, maybe we can hit the pause button, but everybody else, I, th I think, is still moving towards uh, looking at possibly another 25 basis points rate hike coming up. And the staff still is predicting a mild recession in the back of the year. So against that backdrop, you have the CPI data that has just come out, which is directionally correct and, and it's helpful, uh, but still core is awfully sticky. So you have headline now below core, uh, and core is very sticky. And I think that's what the Fed is going to look at. This is a, they still have a lot of work in front of them. And the question is how when we hit a pause, then it's how long do we stay there? Financial markets have priced in about a 70% likelihood of another quarter point interest rate hike at the conclusion of the Fed's policy meeting next month. The next market moving catalyst is likely to be first quarter earnings season, which kicks off on Friday with results from Citigroup, JP Morgan Chase, and Wells Fargo. One stock mover of note, American Airlines, which sunk 9% after saying first quarter profit would come in below market expectations because of high labor and fuel costs.